What's up guys, so we're in Guangzhou, China and we're getting ready to take a business class bullet train from Guangzhou to Hong Kong. So we're here inside the train station now in Guangzhou and if you get a business class ticket, it also comes with a pass to come to this VIP the business class area. So you can see around me there's lots of couches, nice comfortable chairs, as well as TVs. And you also have complimentary drinks and uh, snacks that you can have. That's all included with your ticket. It's our boarding time, so we're heading to our gate, which is at 12B. We'll be heading downstairs to board the train at the front of the train in the business class. All right, so we're getting down to the train right now. So we're looking for train 16, 15. Oh man, I'm at the front of the train now. This thing is so cool looking. Look at this train. Is that not the coolest train you've ever seen? Man. So this thing is definitely designed for speed. All right, I better get on this thing. I think I'm the last one to get on. All right, so we really lucked out. We're just leaving Guangzhou, and we are the only two in this compartment. We literally have this business class cabin to ourselves. All right, so one of the best features about this business class uh, compartment or train, in this room there are five seats, like another train video that I posted. I'll put a link to it here if you want to check that train. That's also taken from the bullet train here in China. It's a business class. Um, but this train is actually nicer. These chairs are all leather. Um, it's got, like I said, lots of options to recline it. Table on this side. So if you need to do any work on your laptop or you want to eat, Got a table there, and then there you have it. Get my pillow in the right spot. Oh. So now you've got a nice spot to relax with your CR slippers. This ticket is 432 RMB, and that's going from Guangzhou to Hong Kong directly. Um, and that's for everything that you get in this video. And there's also a ton of options for this high-speed high train. So you can come here from Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, obviously, Shenzhen, and a ton of other cities around China. All right, so I'm walking through the first class cabin right now. As you can see, this, cra this train is literally empty. Maybe like a few people that I've seen so far. You can see the seats here in the first class cabin are also very nice. Everything's new, it's really comfortable, and it's really not a bad price. All right, so I'm here with my new friend, Jackie. What do you think of the bullet train here going uh, from Guangzhou to Hong Kong? I think the train is a train for us. It's 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 a train for us. 环境啊，或者服务啊，或者性价比来讲，我觉得是非常符合我们一些比较来往多的商务人士。Can you recommend that people come and take the business class train？啊，会会会，我非常推荐，我会让我的朋友和家人都会来尽可能的来体验这个商务舱。All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we just ordered our meals, and this is also included in the ticket price, and it also comes with a nice cup of soup. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Nice and hot too. One cup of boiled cabbage, a bed of rice with some chicken meat, um, some vegetable. It looks like it might be either pumpkin, it looks like pork meat or chicken meat with some green peppers. All right, so I'll give each thing a taste test just to at least give you an idea of how it tastes. Chicken, not bad. A little bit of spicy. And it's just pretty, pretty uh, typical chicken here in Guangdong, Guangxi area. Boiled cabbage. Another staple here. Next, we've got some pumpkin. Really soft, it just makes the oil pumpkin. A little bit of oil, the seasoning. Pretty simple. And then last, we've got some chicken meat and some green peppers. So this one's a little bit spicy, very tender. Overall, this is a really good meal. 
and again it's included with your ticket so why not get it okay so we just got off the bullet train now we went up an escalator and we're about to go through the actual customs here in hong kong All right, so we've arrived in Hong Kong. We went through the security. It's really easy. You basically just keep going upstairs until you're at street level and go through customs. It's pretty straightforward. So now we're outside walking near the harbor and we are in Hong Kong. So to summarize the business class on this bullet train, I can easily recommend taking this train. Uh, like I said, it was 432 RMB for about an hour and a half ride, but it's worth every RMB because of the convenience, how quiet it is, and you know, just the overall experience I think is definitely worth the money. So I can easily recommend coming and trying this bullet train to go to Hong Kong. So it's evening now and I'm at the Guangzhou South Station. And I just wanted to show this, this is just so amazing to me. So right now I'm walking through the station, the trains are above me. So I came off the bullet train coming from Hong Kong back into Guangzhou. And now we're walking under the bullet trains. Above me, there's all of these giant concrete arches. And literally, every single one of these is a bullet train. So along each one of these rows is a, a full-on bullet train. It's just really crazy because, you know, this video does not do it justice. The size and grandeur of this uh, train station is just oh, immense. It's just, yeah. just amazing. I mean, you're walking under like maybe 20 or 30 bullet trains. So you just imagine the weight and you know the, the structural integrity of this building is just insane. And it's also really cool because as you're, as you're walking through, um, you're hearing trains as they're taking off. You're hearing this rumble of the bullet train above your head. It's pretty intense. So thanks for watching. I hope that helps if you're interested in coming to Hong Kong via the bullet train from Shenzhen or Guangzhou. So hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination.